Good. Hey, how are you guys? It's Sonia. I was just live over on Facebook for a bit. I wasn't ready to shut this party down just yet, guys. Because, oh, yes, yeah. yeah, we're going to party like it's, what, 1999? Is that what we're doing? I wonder what, what do you mean? They think Our neighbors think now we're having a party because Matt just yelled through the windows? Probably. Well, I was sitting here and I'm like, well, now I can go ahead and uh, finish off these platters that we were working on together. So if you were over on Facebook, hello, back at you, my friend. If you're over on Facebook with us, what we did was we used our very newest Junk Monkey Glazes. Hello, Brenda, how are you? I'm glad to join me over here for, this is the after show over here we're now taking place. So yes, it is the after show. Very nice. So we got our brown glaze. Hey, Rita, have you guys seen that we brought the glaze back? We upped the size, made them look all pretty. We got the white, we got the brown. And we have the black. Stay tuned for more fun stuff coming your way. Oh, what is that? Piece of scotch tape stuck on. Hello, as a Jane and Linda. Lynn is on here. Hey, Linda. Maggie. Hola. Back at you, my friends. Let me put my glaze over here so I don't like drop those. Clearing out some space here. So I figured I would go ahead and continue with these platters that I was working on. If you didn't see me over live on YouTube, go, not YouTube, Facebook, go over and follow me on Facebook as well. But I found these uh, wooden platters of just completely raw wood and I got them at Hobby Lobby half off and I am working on some um, glaze displays tonight, all right? These are awesome. So I showed you how to just go ahead, paint on your glaze, Follow it up with some cheesecloth and spritz your cheesecloth a little bit and then go ahead and move it all around like, like you don't care, okay? Shake it all over, boom, done. So we did a black, we did a brown. Look at this, how beautiful is this? I love, love, love the black glaze on raw wood. Beautiful for barn wood doors, beautiful for wooden signs as well, right? Yep, Maggie, you just honestly, you brush it on. It's a translucent medium to change up the look of your paint. I always say it's like looking at your paint through a, with a pair of sunglasses on. So whatever is below it. So in this case, this, this was a good example because if I had painted with our black paint over this, you would not see the grain, right? It would just cover it over, one complete coat, solid coat. You ain't seen what's below it, all right? This plate could have been red and then I went ahead and painted over it, you wouldn't have seen it. If this plate was red and I glazed it, you'd see the red. In this case, this plate is just raw wood and it just sucked in, but you see what's behind it, right? That's the fun stuff of this. Yes, Rashada, this is part two right here. So um, I was showing you guys tonight, we did these, the three colors, this, and then when you put glaze over paint versus just the, the raw surface, you get some really cool just really cool looks, antique looks, right? So I will definitely tell you that the black glaze goes awesome on colors, especially with grays. If you're somebody that wants to keep it more cozy and versus doing more like grays um, and yeah, just blacks and grays and whites in your homes, then you and you're more like into cozy homes. You love the rustic look, the country look, the primitive look, a little bit more lived in, a little bit more, you know, like, cozy type feel lived in you like that look tea stain look then the brown glaze is where it's at so this is uh be my honey with the brown glaze over the top of it and then i sealed it with some of our silver pearl shimmer metallic polyacrylic which is just a shimmer sealer a finish to protect your paint job right um, people ask me all the time is glaze a sealer nope it's not it's just something that changes the look of your paint get everything in place and then seal it. So in this case, this was just a sample door that I did with candy bar brown and antique lace and a little bit of black velvet. And then once it all dried, what I did was I went over it with a white glaze. And do you see the look that it gives that really light look? My favorite combo is blue slate and white glaze. If you have not tried it, give it a shot and see if you do. All right. Whether or not you eat or not. Did you eat? No, we did not. Although I did just see that Matt has a pineapple in the refrigerator. And I'm like, we haven't had a pineapple in so long. Oh, Penny, you found me. Good deal. When you're here on the YouTube platform, right below my smiling face at the top, there is a bell. Make sure you hit the bell, you subscribe, and then hit the bell. 
And what it does is it will send you an alert every time I either upload a video or else I come live or get prepared to come live. And then when you're on over on the Facebook platform, go below my smiling face and make sure you turn your notifications on to, to see me because a lot of times we don't see stuff, right? It's because we subscribe to so much stuff. And so our feeds only show us what it thinks it wants that we want to see. And so you gotta show it, you gotta like, you gotta comment, you gotta share. And then the robots behind the system go, okay, all right. So Sonia interacts with this. She must like this. Therefore, I will show her Junk Monkey Paint Company, all right? So be interactive. Don't be, don't be afraid. Don't be shy. We don't bite. Say hello if you're here, all right? It's all good things will happen. All right, so I've got my handy-dandy Junk Monkey Paint Company wax brush. We have had two launches of these brushes, two loads of these brushes, which have completely sold out. The last load just sold out this week. So we hope, and it takes about six weeks to build these brushes from scratch here in the US of A for our ever-loving ever Junk Monkey family. So we hope to maybe in a couple weeks to be able to have them back, okay? Thank you, Linda. I appreciate you. We go way back, huh, Linda? Linda's a good friend of the Junk Monkey. We love Linda, Linda, Linda. All right, let's go oh, ahead. Gee, Linda, Linda, Linda. Yes, Linda, Linda, Linda's on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and seal this now. I think that'll be really cool. You love your new brush? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, Rita. This is good for picking up your monkey shine, which is what I should show you that I'm using right now. Look, you can see the bottom. Look, look way, way in there. Um, you can probably see your reflection. Yeah, this is just a beeswax oil finish um, that works to seal especially well on wood finishes. So this is decorative, right? This, so it kind of like, all the checks are there in the boxes. It's wooden, yes. Oh, monkey shine and wood go so nice together. Is this more decorative or is it gonna get a high traffic use? Well, now it's more decorative. So therefore I'm gonna use my monkey shine. So I take my brush, I put it into, sorry, I've got like, I've got Miss Petunia flakes everywhere from our live milk paint challenge. Have not, Gloria. I have not, never even heard of it before. So I'm going to take my brush. Yes, it acts as a whitewash. That's what the game Oh, is. is it just like our white, white, white well, glaze? No, maybe? somebody's asking our white glaze. Is it from wood? Is it like whitewash? Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yep, that's what the white wash does. It gives you a lime wash look to your projects. Awesome if you love coastal. All right, so I'm going in circles. You know what? Let me just put you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. That's a lot. That's more funner, isn't it? Funner? Come on. Somebody's gonna be like, that's not a word. It could be if you really want it to be. All right, so we put it on, we got it all over, and now we take a handy dandy junk monkey buffing cloth. Oh, whitewash, yep. And then we go ahead and we buff it off, okay? We buff it off. And keep turning your rag over so that way it can pick up. Oh your excess of your oil finish. Suck nice down deep into your wood pores and leave your piece feeling nice and dry and buttery smooth. All right, my friends? All right, there we go. And we are done, beautiful. Gorgeous, look at that. This is really nice for anything that's raw wood. If you love to use it as a stain, let me go ahead and do our, this one here. This is gonna be a good one to do. You see the difference it makes that when you put that on? Isn't that awesome looking? Do you not love that? Do you love, love that? It. You don't love it, we can't be friends, all right? We just can't be friends. I love lamp. <laughs> Did you find something to eat? No. You know what I just found Actually, in the I, freezer? I mixed up some drink and as I was drinking Do you have it, a drinking problem? You look at me, see I got all over. Why is it all over your shirt? In my face. Oh my. Because I was drinking out of the sport ball and I don't know where any of my leaves are. Well, I think at this point, if me and you probably went to the store, I'm covered in paint and I don't know, you just look I'm like you got. You drool all over yourself. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. I like to keep people guessing, right? What is wrong with those people? Oh, I found um, toaster strudel that I'd, I'd actually purchased for my son Riley, and apparently he's not eating them. So I moved some boxes. Kind of like Matt, we got toaster strudel, strawberry toaster strudel. Anybody else all about the, the toaster strudel? 
Ooh, just so pretty. Look at that. We love that. This is what's so nice to do with, um, yeah, if you have pieces, even if you don't want to paint them, but they just like they're old or antique, and for whatever reason, you're just like, no, I'm going to just preserve the look right now. Just grab the monkey shine and go all over it. The wood just loves it. Loves it. Loves it. Yep. So did you, So if, if there's any local friends on here, I just did a live over on Facebook. You can, This is the abbreviated version. But um, basically, I was sharing with you guys that if you've been waiting for us to open up our storefront in Ligonier, get excited because your paint will be in Ligonier this weekend. But it's going to be over, our, over at our friends at Allegory Gallery. They're on Main Street there, just down from the gazebo. And if you follow my blog here, you've, you know Andrew and William. And we're excited because we are going to be um, getting a giant load of Junk Monkey over to them um, for their Saturday noon, for Saturday at noon to begin uh, making it available to all of our local peeps who are so used to just coming into our storefront. And of course, our storefront's been closed since March. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're in Ligonier and you need to paint, that's going to be the new place to get it, Allegory Gallery. We'll get them on our website as well. Somebody just asked me about... How long before you seal? Is that what I just saw a little bit ago? How long do you need to let the paint dry, paint or glaze dry as, before you put sealer on? Um, as soon as it's dry, honestly, just we always say, I think on the back of our paint cans, to allow 24 hours before you seal for best results. Um, because everybody's painting on different surfaces. But honestly, as long as it's dry to the touch, just keep that in mind because the longer that you let something dry, there's a difference between dry time and cure time. Things can dry to the touch, but that does not mean that it's finished curing, right? It can take up to 30 days for stuff to cure, but the, the first 24 hours is the most important. So depending on what you're painting, just the universal statement is, is that if you can wait a day, your paint will be in there, it will be in there good, right? So, you know, when you're painting things like cabinets and stuff like that, it's always let, let it, it's always best to let the paint go as deep as possible, right? Before you go on with your next layer. But you can, you know, for decorative stuff and just stuff like this, as soon as it's dry, okay. um, we're ready to go. Question. What was that? Another yeah. question. I sure think my mom's metal bed is going back to the silver color. Of my, I am going to paint it with smoky coal. Okay. Do I have to prime before I do it? Mm -hmm. So when I paint anything that's metal, if you are using our, not the milk paint, that's the stuff that will chip and flake and fall and over a piece of metal, Miss Petunia, she will throw a tantrum and fall off. But if you're using any of your favorite colors from our clay and mineral paint line that has the multiple resins included with it, it sticks to pretty much anything under the sun, all right? So if I was going to paint a piece of metal, I would choose from that paint line. And then what I would do is, Honestly, if you have like a coarse grit sand pad, you can take the time to just like make some, um, if you buff it over just a little bit, what it will do is make some really microscopic tiny scratches and behind the scenes, it will even help your paint stick on even better, okay? Even better, is that a word? I don't even know if that's better. better. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm saying a lot of things tonight that I don't you think is really correct. Did you tell me you finally got to watch? <laughs> as long as she gets the point, right? Did you tell that you, you finally got to watch uh, a little shop I work? did. I was just telling my friends over on Facebook that I did. Last oh, night, yeah. yeah, yeah, I did. Come on, I thought you were my biggest fan. You weren't following, I was telling them that the last two nights, Matt has been introducing me to, it makes it gooder. Yes, Rita, thanks. <laughs> That's why I love you guys, right? You just get it. You just, just a hey, yeah, bunch yeah. of humans. I love you. Um, so the night before last, Matt introduced me to watching the 1950s, I believe it was, right? Movie yeah, of um, 59, uh, Little Shop of Horrors. It sounds like an horrific movie title. If you've seen it, it's about basically a, a little shop, a florist shop, and man um, a man-eating plant. <laughs> and so we watched the 19, late 50s uh, show of it. And then last night... We stayed up really late past our bedtime, and we watched the off, off-Broadway version of it, right? 1986, yeah. 1986? I don't even know how you know this stuff. I just don't know how I've been a human on this earth, on this planet, for this long, and I've never, ever seen it. No, we just had a giant, <sighs> life-size, one-to-one replica. Well, yeah, I know, I know. Like Matt's friend has a special too. effects shop, and that's probably the first time that I saw a prop of it. 
And well, we have he's like, this is Audrey. Sizes, and I'm right? like, what yeah. is that? And so, yeah. So now I finally have the storyline to go with it. So if we're ever at a party together and you guys make a reference to like Feed Me Seymour, I'm going to totally be like, ha, ha, ha. I know what you're talking about. So life is good. We're gonna, probably going to go. Jackie says, great movie. Yes. So I think it was good for you'll you to even watch dentist. it again, she's right? Saying, she's saying you'll be a dentist. <laughs> oh, that was good too. That, that scene was really, really funny. You'll yeah. Be a <laughs> That's going to sing it. Dennis. Yeah, it was really, really good. We've been staying up way too late watching old movies. We do like cheesy old movies. I Feed love cheesy me. old movies. You just yes. You just you like finally got on I did the there? Boat. What's that? I said, I have always loved them. You just finally got on the boat. I know. I'm late to the party. I am late to the party. Penny says, what was it on? Matt, where'd you find it? HBO Go. HBO Go is where you found it. That oh. was the old 1950s? No, that was the new one. Oh, that's a new one? 1950s one. We watched my buddy's oh. channel. Okay. Mr. Lobo's channel. Mr. Lobo. Okay. OSI 74 for Roku. Oh, good people. golly. These people were really like, what the heck? Well, no, Mr. Logan. It, what's the channel? It's called OSI Global. 74. OSI 74. Outer Space International. Okay. You can find it on Roku. <laughs> or just, just like plug it in somewhere. Just even go on Google and go like, where can I watch Cinema Little, Sh Little Shop yeah. of Horrors online? And I'm sure it'll throw up something. And maybe you'll have that, um, that downloaded on your smart TV too. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. So that was good. We'll see what we have to, to watch tonight. So these are now done. I have sealed them in monkey shine and they be beautiful. If you make wood, um, wood signs, this is awesome to use. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Look how pretty that looks. Ooh, you see like the different, like the aging that happens, right? So fun stuff. And again, these were the doors with the glaze on it as well. So the three color, three glazes are back. Stay tuned for um, for our teal coming back as well. Oh, Matt's excited because somebody asked, hey, Matt, what's up? Because Matt got a new wood chipper tonight. And when you're an adult, you get excited about things like wood chippers. We had some brush hauled out of the front probably yard you today. You probably shouldn't tell him. What's that? Excited about a wood chipper. <laughs> yes i know i don't know i haven't seen matt all i know he's out in the garage with a wood chipper that was the last time i ever seen him right oh yeah you'll have a lot of fun with the glazes because your paint takes on a whole new look right or if you have especially pieces that have a lot of like ornate stuff into them it's a great way to glaze and really show detail. It sits in, in the crevices of pieces and it's a wonderful thing. All right, so thanks for hanging out with me as I finish this up. I do have my wood one. It's on my um, Facebook channel. I was telling you guys that that was the last one I did. I added a little extra and it's not quite dry just yet. So I'm going to um, wait before I go ahead and monkey shine that one. That one's down here, but it's still wet. It's still wet. I don't know if you can see it, but it's... Just, so just this just gives a whitewash look. You, the, the look is much more apparent when you put it over paint, right? Um, but yeah, so if you need the teal glaze uh, and you need it right now, if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, that's the junk monkey world right there. And if you click on find a retailer, a lot of our retailers will still have glaze in stock. So you can go ahead and you can message them directly to their storefront and say, hey, can you ship me a glaze? Um, if you need, that might be an option and stay tuned for it to come back in the future. Oh, I also got these, which will be a project coming up. We'll see what we end up doing with these, but, um, the same place I got these plates, which was over at the, um, the Hobby Lobby. I found these right here as well, which are wood rounds. No, no, I'm lying. Don't believe me. I got these at Walmart. I think I got these at Walmart. I'm going to have to remember. I feel like I might've got these at Walmart and they're four wood slices. And I thought maybe what I might do is glaze them dark. So come on tomorrow. We'll do this project tomorrow and follow me and see what I do with them. But I'm thinking about maybe glazing this right here, this raw wood and putting a stencil on it and sealing them and turning them into cute rustic coasters. What do you guys think? Yeah. That'd be fun. You can make your own. Look, isn't it so funny to see sliced wood with one of these things in it? Having a dad who, um, you know, went and cut wood. We didn't buy it from plastic bags at Walmart. <laughs> so, but anyway, 
So if you, maybe you have access for your own dried wood slices, all right, that's an option. But I got these here and I figured I'd do something fun with them and I need some more coasters. So we're gonna do that. All right, friends, I will see you guys again soon. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell here and over on Facebook as well. If you enjoy these videos, then don't be a stranger. All right, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. You like that idea? I say, let's do it then. All right, good night, friends. See ya. Uh, love you too, Linda. Rita, you make it fun. See you, Mercedes. Bye. Good night. We're like a bunch of people in... When you're in bed in the bed at night, there's a bunch of people and you go, good night, good night, good night, see ya.